Hey friends, welcome back to our week of prayer and fasting. Thank you for joining us in the series titled, You Will Receive Power. Today we're on day six, and our topic is, Be a Witness. Be a Witness. What is a witness? When you think of the word witness, what comes to mind? Well, the actual definition is someone who is a witness to an event. We as followers of Jesus, we're called to be witnesses of Jesus, of the fact that he's alive. I have this book here with me, one of my favorite books, High Adventure in Tibet. And I love to go back and read the stories because they're so inspirational. It's a story about a missionary who goes out to be a witness, to take the message of Jesus, to let people know that Jesus is alive. But he goes to a place that is so remote and so cold, like freezing temperatures. I mean, think of Alaska. Think of that type of environment with uh, mountains and all kinds of obstacles that he needed to get through to take the message. Well, this missionary decides to leave everything behind and to go and do this work. And in one of the chapters, he talks about an incident where he fell into a river. And, you know, these are the types of moments that every missionary dreads. He fell into an ice-cold river. And, you know, there's no technology in these places. There's no running water. There's no hot water. There's nothing. You simply go and... You go out on a prayer, just, God, please protect me. And he fell into a river. And uh, this became uh, critical because his feet could be amputated. They could fall off, literally. That's how, that's how freezing cold the temperatures are. And so he quickly tried to make a fire. Uh, but it, the pain was just excruciating. And it lasted for several days. And um, thankfully, he recovered. He healed. He didn't lose his feet. But what he didn't know, because he came to know this about 10 years later, is that at that exact moment, when he fell into that river, halfway across the world, in the city of Detroit, back in the United States, there was a little uh, old woman who began to pray. And she was in her prayer moment when all of a sudden she was led by the Holy Spirit to begin to pray for this missionary's feet. She didn't know why. In fact, she had presumed that this missionary was dead because they hadn't heard of him for in a long time. What, what a strange prompting from the Holy Spirit uh, to pray for this dead man's feet. She didn't realize that he was actually alive. But the Holy Spirit in that moment gave her the understanding to pray for him. And that happened to a few other people who who got the same prompting to pray for his feet. And so thankfully, this man was able to heal. Again, he learned about this about 10 years later when this elderly woman wrote him to tell him what had happened, this experience she had in prayer. And why am I sharing this with you is because this is what it means to be a witness. It means... Being able to go out into the world, overcoming whatever obstacles come your way, in order to share the message of Jesus, and to to share it with someone who is far from God. This is something that we are all called to do. We are called to give evidence to the fact that Jesus is alive. So, after his resurrection, Jesus has to reorient his followers, who at that time were afraid He reassures them that their greatest assignment is just beginning. And he sends them out into the world, a world that at the time was hostile to their message. There was great persecution. They were going to have to overcome a lot of obstacles. It was going to be tough. So they were going to need supernatural boldness. And here's the principle that I want to land on. It is this. Jesus promises supernatural boldness to be a witness. I'll say that again. Jesus promises to all his followers supernatural boldness to be a witness. That's why he said to his disciples in Acts 1.8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be 
my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Think about that. (laughs) This missionary that I mentioned, he was literally going to the ends of the earth. And some of these places that Jesus mentioned here, Judea, Samaria, you know, there were... There was a lot of conflict back in that day, especially like Samaria. These disciples were going to face some serious obstacles, some serious opposition. When I think about these things, I'm reminded of a quote from one of my favorite pastors, Craig Rochelle. He says, we are the church and we exist for the world. We exist for the world. You know, it can be very easy to be a witness on a Sunday morning, you know, after you get out of church. Um, it's much harder to be a witness on Monday morning when you are surrounded by people who are far from God. God wants us to be a witness in the way that we overcome obstacles, in the way that we respond to unexpected situations. In everything we do, we want to be a reflection of God's love. And so let that be our prayer today. That God, let it not just be words, let it not just be what I say, but Let it be who I am. Let people see a reflection of your love in me. Jesus, help me to bear witness to your life. So let's pray right now. Heavenly Father, we need you today. We want to be your witnesses. We want to bear witness, God, with our lives that you are alive and well. But we know that the world we live in is hostile towards your message There is great rejection. God, we might even have to face one day persecution for your name. There is so much opposition, God, that if we're going to be able to deliver this wonderful message of the good news of Jesus, we need supernatural boldness. We need power from heaven to step out, miracle-working power, to step into situations, God, that you're calling us into because there is someone that needs to hear the message of the good news of Jesus. And we want to be there. We want to be available to do that. God, thank you that you have raised up an army and that we're part of that army. Help us to step out in faith, in boldness. Help me to be the one to bring this message in mighty power. Not in my own intellect, but in the power of the Holy Spirit. We pray these things today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. What a wonderful time of prayer. Please join me tomorrow and make sure you connect and let's agree that God is going to do the impossible. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.